You might be asking yourself, are you wearing the same clothes from your last video? And the answer is yes. I'm trying to kill birds with one stone. We love a recycle queen. <laughs> Today I wanted to make a really quick and fun video about my favorite middle grade books. Also, by the way, I'm Jordan. Hello, this is this is the introduction apparently. Um, and I, I want to talk about middle grade because I am a 28 year old woman but I fucking love books that are geared towards 9 to 12 year olds and like if that makes me a bad person arrest me. So let's just get into this because I'm excited and I think you should be too. Anyway I want to start with the kind of like very simple quick recommendations. Of course I could never do this video and not recommend Coraline to you. If you haven't read Coraline it's great, it's middle grade, it's creepy. It's a classic, honestly. The movie for this as well is amazing if you haven't seen it, but read the book, watch the movie, especially during Halloween. Super creepy, super fun. We love it. The next book that I have is Aquacorn Cove by Katie O'Neill. This is a, a middle grade graphic novel. I love this so much. So this is about a girl who kind of goes to visit her aunt I believe. She finds out that the coral reef and the aquacorns are uh, dying and need her help and it's so cute. There's like there's queer rap, it's adorable, she's got space buns, like what else do you need in your life? This is so cute. It's so wholesome and lovely and the art style is honestly beautiful so read it. The next book that I have is one that's very near and dear to my heart it means a lot to me and that is The Tale of Despero by Kate DiCamillo. This is the first chapter book I ever read. I was a late bloomer when it came to reading I never my mom didn't read my my household wasn't like very encouraging of liter of like literature but I went to the library one day and I took this out and I read it and I connected with it so much that I became obsessed with books and obsessed with reading and it kind of sparked everything for me like this book changed my life literally this is about a little mouse who is different and an outcast and even his family thinks that he's weird they think he doesn't belong and then he proves them wrong by just being a fucking badass. And it's honestly the cutest thing in the entire world. How cute is that? It's so cute. Honestly, this is such a good book just for like literally anyone. Adult, chill, ch chilled, <laughs> children, um, and it's perfect. The rest of these books I've read quite recently. So this is The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. I read this book like about I think three years ago or two years ago and then this year I finished I finished the series off finally by reading The Subtle Knife and The Amber Spyglass. I'm obsessed. I'm so in awe of this series. Like it was so much fun and so dramatic and so like magical. I honestly want my own demon. By the way in case you didn't know this is a story about a girl named Lyra. Um, she lives in a world where uh, everyone's soul has kind of manifest itself as an animal um, and they're called demons and Lyra has to go on this huge adventure to figure out um, stuff. I'm not gonna say what because it's it's, hon it's honestly best I think to go into this as blind as possible because it's so much fun. It's so 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 good. The series is amazing. The books blew me away honestly. I loved them so much and there were so many parts that I was so just amazed at how Mr. Pullman kind of like pulled everything together and like how there were so many clues throughout the series over all of these things and like I love it. I love it so much. This this is such good f just fiction. Even if you're like if you don't like middle grade or YA this is still like top-notch stuff and it's just a great fantasy series just period. The next book um, 
Actually, the next few books made me literally sob. Like, literally crying. Like, dying. Because of how just emotionally invested I was in these books. And I think... I think if you're a crybaby, you would also just sob a little bit. Anyway, so the next one is Willa of the Wood by Robert Beatty. This is so good. I know I've heard people say that this is kind of like mediocre, blah, blah, blah. You're wrong. You're wrong. This is so good. It's got just the fucking coolest, most badass little girl. She's like, she's like a forest spirit in a way. Or like a forest um like nymph in a way and she her and her colony like live away from the humans or they hide away but something happens that kind of makes her have to like separate herself from her like colony and it's so beautiful i cried so hard when reading this book like harder than i cried probably for anything this is so good there's there's just nothing that I can say to even like I'm flabbergasted at how like just amazing this was the characters are fully developed fully realized the writing is beautifully constructed <sighs> and this will tug at your heartstrings I think it's just a beautiful story about family and like how family isn't always blood it's just beautiful heartbreaking amazing speaking of family and heartbreaking i also have to show you night owl to night owl from dogfish by holly greenberg sloan and meg wolitzer by the way it's a signed copy that i got in uh seattle America, because I live in Canada, America has so many more signed copies. Why? <laughs> Why can't we Canadians also have signed copies everywhere? Like everywhere that I went. Like I think I think I went to when I went to Seattle, I got like five different books that were signed. And when you're in Canada, like that's not a thing. Anyway, to Night Owl from Dogfish follows these two girls who are writing to each other because their dads are sending them off to summer camp together. Um, they find out that, that their dads are dating um, and they kind of want to break them up. They don't, they don't want this at all. It's kind of like the parent trap, but also better. This is so cute and so fun and honestly beautiful. Like again, this is another book again that features family not always having to be blood. <sighs> and I just love it so much. It's so cute. It's so, 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 so cute. If you like feeling warm in your heart and feeling just like, like you want to feel like you have like a marshmallow, like a gooey hot marshmallow in, in your heart, and you just like, it's like a little pillow. Like that's what this book does. But I don't make it, I'm not making any sense, but it's true. This book knows what's up and it's so cute and it's so well done. I love it so much. Honestly, I can't even with it. It's just so good. The second last book that I'm gonna show you is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. This is one of the best middle grade books just ever written. I read this around the same time that I read Willa of the Wood and again sobbed my face off. Like cried. Like ugly cried because of how just cute and wonderful and magical this is. This tells a story about a girl who as a baby gets sacrificed to this witch in the woods. The people in her village believe that they need to sacrifice somebody every year so that the witch who lives in the woods won't like destroy them or eat them or something. But the witch has to find these babies every year and like has to take them to another village and get somebody else to adopt them because she's not evil. She doesn't want to destroy anyone. She's just like a witch in the woods. Like, so she, so she finds this baby and she gives her 
too much moonlight. And so the baby is like just bursting with magic. So she has to keep the baby to look after the baby. And it kind of goes from there about this little girl who's just full of magic and has like this crazy family of like the witch and like this bog monster who's like a god and like a little baby dragon. <sighs> Honestly, can't even tell you how much I love this book. It will melt your heart and make you cry and laugh and just feel, <sighs> just feel so good. Honestly, honestly, this is a, this, this video I'm, I'm starting to realize this is just a video of me gushing about these, about middle grade books, but I do, I love all of them, especially this one. And I think if you like feeling good, read this because it won't let you down. I saved the best for last. So this is probably my favorite middle grade series of all time. And I can't even, I can't even. So this is Nevermore by Jessica Townsend and Wondersmith by Jessica Townsend. These books are so much fun. This follows a girl named Morgan Crow. Morgan is a cursed child and her entire life she's been told, hey, you're cursed. You make bad things happen to everyone around you. And when you're 11 years old, on your birthday, you're going to die. Everyone treats her like shit because she's cursed and bad things happen when she's around. So on her 11th birthday, she's ready to die. No one really gives a fuck. Her family's a bunch of assholes. And this dude named Jupiter North shows up and is like, hey, I'm gonna take you away to Nevermore because of reasons. Anyway, so it goes on from there where Morgan gets whisked away to this magical place called Nevermore. And it just, it's just so good. And I hate that people are like, ooh, this is like Harry Potter. That's Harry Potter, blah. Because it's not really like Harry Potter. It doesn't feature any like magical schools or anything like that. Or I guess it does. Anyway, <laughs> it's not like Harry Potter, except I think in feeling. When I read these books, I feel like I'm going back to Hogwarts in a way, but it's like a new version of Hogwarts. It's like a Hogwarts that I'm completely unfamiliar with and new to. If you, enjoy books or fun or like to feel good about your life or you want magic and cool and funny and evil characters this is it my dude this is it these books are so good i can't even tell you how much i love them and i think if you haven't read them yet you're missing out, my friend, because these are so good. Pick up Nevermore. Just give it a read. Oh, that was my favorite uh, middle grade books. Please let me know down below. If you also are obsessed with middle grade, let me know what your favorite middle grade books are. I'm always looking for recommendations. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!